Welcome to the Family Business Unit blog. My name is Stuart Farley and I'm Managing Consultant at the Family Business Unit. This is about the succession paradox that many family and private business owners face when managing succession within their business. Procrastination. Why having established a business for either security or maybe for a personal legacy or perhaps both Many business owners procrastinate, put off, it, over putting in place a succession plan. And it's interesting because surveys carried out across the UK and USA indicate that three quarters of independent businesses want to pass ownership over to their family to retain it and keep it within their family. The challenge or the confusion is why only 25% have any succession plan in place, let alone one that's written and also shared with key stakeholders. Our experience shows that it's driven by five key things. First of all, it's the fear of mortality. Having to actually plan for your future means you've got to face a future where you won't be there. And there's that fear of loss we have bias against planning. Many small medium business owners have a tendency not to plan for the future or plan anything so therefore they don't have a tendency or the patterns to actually plan for the future. This is about also keeping control. Business owners, some of them, fear about losing control of their businesses. There's also, for a fear of choosing and upsetting family members and non-family business managers. You know, why open up, as I've heard it said, a can of worms where you're exposing the emotions within the business and within the family. And also there's the fear of retirement and that may come from the spouse as well. What am I going to do if I don't have the business? The default position is to do nothing and many business owners take this position. The choices are quite stark though. You either build and develop a written succession plan which involves consensus among the key stakeholders or alternatively be forced to take abrupt action when the owner suddenly becomes ill, incapacitated or dies. Many choose the latter and there are enormous challenges in trying to do this when the family are most at stress when a patriarch or owner is really having problems personally or isn't around and the family are preoccupied with other things prevention is far far better than cure we notice there are four types of owners there are monarchs, generals, ambassadors and governors. This is according to Geoffrey Sonnenfield of the Yale University. Monarchs are those that will not let go. They are there for life. Generals will let go. However, they plan their return and will set things up, almost sabotage the, the new owner to make sure that they fail so they can step in and rescue the business. We have ambassadors who leave management of the business who will also be available to actually represent the business on the wider stage and are there to support the business though not be directly involved and we have governors these are owners who leave the business and pursue other businesses the greatest danger in flight is takeoff and landing and similarly for private and family businesses the time when they are most challenged is the time when you change leadership uh, whether that be leadership be in management or ownership it was Einstein that says you can't solve a problem with the same mind that created it and that's why we at the family business unit have brought in best practice around the world and can apply it to private and family businesses if you're interested please get in touch and watch out for other video blogs Thank you for joining us.